All right, guys, what's up? Dead out of here today. And in this video, we're going to try to install a second uh, Tesla P100 in um, this Dell uh, R720 or Dell PowerEdge R720 server. Um, this is kind of a second part or part two of the previous video where we're installing the first one. Um, we're going to see if we can make two work uh, in there today. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, and before we get into it anymore, I just want to say, so this is the Tesla uh, P100 GPU. This is a riser. So this is going to replace the third riser when we actually open the server up. Um, and if you can see, this is 225 watts. So that should give us plus the 75 watts coming from the PCIe slot should give us everything we need to power this uh, GPU, which has a TDP of 250. Um, and then these from the last video are um, a 12 volt EPS to a PCIe 8 pin. So two female PCIe 8 pins here. You can see the uh, endings there and there. Um, and then this kind of the opposite end of the spectrum is this is um, two male PCIe, uh, actually six plus two pin. Um, and this is the same thing. So two or a six plus two, eight pin PCIe male. And then <clears throat> out to another 12 volt EPS. So, and then if you remember from last video, this GPU has 12 volt EPS. So really we need a male to male 12 volt EPS, but that's apparently not something that uh, exists. So we had to kind of get a little bit creative. Sorry, I'm just wiping something off the GPU. Um, okay. Also just want to highlight, this is the actual cable that came with it. And if you can see this, says riser uh, only white to white. And then this is for the GPU. So this is the GPU black only, which is the 12 volt EPS. This one fits, this one does not. It has, a, um, has an extra square peg. I think it's that one right there. But anyway, this doesn't actually fit. So I don't know if you can buy uh, 12 volt to 12 volt EPS that will work. Even the one that came with it didn't work. So, you know, if you can find one, there, there's a guy on YouTube. I already linked it in the last video, but I'll link it again. He actually makes these custom, um, you know, for this, these particular um, class of GPUs that have the 12 volt EPS. But anyway, um, this is the only way so far I've found that works. So, you know, take that for what it is. <clears throat> Anyway, let's go ahead and open this guy up uh, and get started. I've already powered it off and I've um, completely disconnected uh, all of the power. So it should be completely dead. Um, so let's get you guys fixed up here. And then we can start. I'll go ahead and zoom in. Top off. As you can see, we've already got one installed in there that was um, working as of this morning. So, first thing we're going to want to do is we need to replace this riser with the. Um, oh, actually, there is still power. I have not turned this off. Oops. There we go. Now all the power is off. My apologies. All right, so anyway, first thing we need to do now that all the power is off is we need to close that up, 
and we need to pop this riser out and swap it out for the one that actually has adequate power. So if you notice on this riser, this one has 100 and can't tell if y'all can see that, but basically 150 watts of power right there. And it also has two PCIe slots at um, basically two eight lane PCIe slots. So this isn't really ideal for us. We're not going to use either of these anyway. So we'd rather have full power and full lanes for one particular slot. All right. So this guy I've already showed you. We're going to go ahead and pop this guy in. Take this down a little bit. It's a little hard to see from up here. Okay. There we go. All right. All right. So now we need to go ahead and uh, try to stick this GPU in. So we'll go ahead and we'll take off little, uh, I don't know what you call this, but this little security tab. We'll take these grill plates out. And then we're gonna try to slot this very carefully into the riser. Ah, well, so this, could be one problem. This is bent a little bit. So let's straighten that guy out. All right, notice that this front piece needs to slide in the slot. There's, there we go. Ah, finally we have liftoff. Okay, excellent. So that guy fits in there nice. And now before we get too carried away, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the cabling in. So we're gonna go ahead and connect these guys together. You really would think there would be a better way to do this. So there we go. And then we'll connect this guy. Boom. All right, so. This one's gonna be a little bit harder. You know what? Let's see if I can put it in the reverse way this time. I put the, as you can see, these big blocks or the big connectors up here at the top. I'll try to put them at the bottom this time. I might make things a little bit easier. Okay. Let's put this guy in there. Okay. So now what we can do. Hmm. No, that's not going to work. probably connected this connector before I put it in, but okay so we'll try that again and we'll come under this time so that's the only way that we're gonna be able to get yeah I can see cable routing is gonna be a challenge for this Can this come out? 
Well, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to fish this under there somehow. So it'd be nice if there wasn't if you could just kind of come around the front way, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be a possibility. So we will feed it underneath. Hopefully we have enough slack to come up and make this bend. Okay, so that actually worked out. It looks like if I can ever get it connected in there. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, for the harder part, is how am I going to get these guys situated? Maybe I could stack them like this. But will I have enough room to actually make the connection? That's the question. Oh. This might have been a better idea to do before I tried to put these guys in. So if you're watching at home, you might want to try putting the cabling in beforehand. I might try to do that in a minute too. But, okay, well, looks like it finally went in. Wow, that's crazy. That is a huge pain in the ass, guys. All right, so everything looks in there and you know situated as well as it can. So I've got our two, two GPUs in, okay? Now we gotta do, um, we wanna secure everything. So pull up on this and then you push down, it'll pop it out and then it'll make that connection on this side. So the GPU is not gonna rattle around too much. And then also here, just the same way as we uh, undid this one, we wanna put this stabilizer back. I'm not sure there's a technical name for it, but you push down on that button, it'll pop that guy out. Boom. And just again, sits in that little ridge, it's gonna help secure this. And then we'll put this guy back as well now that we're done messing with everything. So, It's really tight in here now. Man, maybe we won't put it back. It certainly does not want to go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Just had to lift up on this. It was just kind of pushed a little bit further down. But I can tell you, those are in there rock solid okay so last thing we're gonna put this piece back that fits in there really nice um i don't know what is on this but all right guys there you have it so that is in and it should be installed now so all that's left is to turn this bad boy on and see if it recognizes it it should have enough power you know for sort of some basic math um you know, so everything should work in theory, but I've read, I read some, um, stack overflows that sometimes two, two, two GPUs does not work. Um, but I guess that's what we'll find out here in just a minute. So next part of the video, uh, I'm going to be upstairs. I'll have put the lid back on and, uh, I'll just log into the server once it boots up and then we'll try to see if we can find both these GPUs. So anyway, see you in a sec, guys. <clears throat> All right, guys, so now I'm back upstairs uh, at my computer, and we're going to go ahead and um, SSH into the server. So let's see. Okay. I'm going to enter my passkey. And then I'm going to login via duo
All right, cool. So now I'm logged into the same server that we were just working on downstairs. And the real trust is if NVIDIA SMI works. Excellent, wonderful. All right, so this is the one we originally installed in the previous video, and this is the new one we just installed. Um, you know, as you can see, they're both available for use. Um, NVIDIA recognizes them. Um, so that should be all we really need to do to start using these in um, our projects. If you do not have the drivers installed, uh, go back and watch the previous video. I go over at the end how to install um, the NVIDIA drivers so that your machine will recognize the GPUs. So anyway guys, that's it, that's it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoy the content and I will see you in the next one. All right guys, brief reminder here. If you enjoyed the content, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe so I can continue to grow and produce better and better content for you. If you really enjoyed the content, you might even consider buying me a coffee and the link for how to do that will be in the video description below. Um, if nothing else, please just give me some feedback and the comments and let me know how I'm doing, uh, if anything's unclear or if there are anything uh, that I can improve on. Thank you again, guys, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.